Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're taking a quick look at and installing the Modern Billet Phantom Upper Grill Mesh Overlay in Black available for the 08 to 14 Challenger. You should very simply put be checking this out if you're looking for a more aggressive, stealthy Phantom styling at the front end with an overlay grill that pops right on top of the factory upper grill in order to give it a unique, very custom appearance. Now this one in particular covers not only the upper grill, but also extends to both headlights on both sides. This is something that's a little bit more unique in the category, giving you a more complete finish rather than just focusing on the upper grill itself, leaving the headlights bare and open. So this one in particular uses a diamond mesh overlay finish that's made from a stainless steel material with a black powder coated finish on top and it's designed using OEM CAD data from Dodge so it's a perfect fit to this cutout here of your headlights in the upper grill section. Now this being an overlay means that you don't have to uninstall the factory upper grill. It's something that bolts right on top of it. So basically a screw is gonna go through the back and screw into the upper grill overlay, pulling them together, keeping it in place. Now with that said, it does require the removal of your front bumper. Our 13 RT here just doesn't have enough room under the hood to get your hand back there along with a tool to tighten those screws down. So we have to pop the bumper off in order to get adequate space to bolt this on from the back. Now some models out there may be able to do it from under the hood if you have small hands and a couple of right tools on deck. But in our case, we just thought it'd be easier to pop that bumper off. Just something to keep in mind. Because this does extend over the headlights, it does have little effect on the headlight lighting output. Just something to keep in mind. If that's not something you're interested in, there are some versions that just cover the upper grill itself, but this is for the guys looking for complete coverage. Now this one is gonna run you right around 300 bucks. It's a little bit more pricey than some of the more basic overlays that just focus on the grill itself. This, because it extends to the headlights, does have a lot more material. It's a little bit different of an appearance. Because of that, the price tag is a bit more premium. The install, I'm still giving one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Anybody can tackle it in the driveway at home with simple hand tools, but if you're taking that front bumper off, it just increases a little bit more of the involvement in the install. With that said, it'll take you about an hour from start to finish. I'm gonna take you through the process. Let's get started. Tools used in the install include an impact gun, a ratchet, seven and 10 millimeter deep sockets, Phillips head socket, and Phillips head screwdriver, swivel socket, a couple of extensions, and a panel removal tool. Unfortunately for this install, we do have to take the front bumper off. There's just not enough room underneath of the factory radiator shroud to get your hands behind that factory upper grill. But taking the front bumper off isn't terribly hard. It's just a little bit more time consuming. Now the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is pop our hood, remove that radiator shroud by hand, and then we'll take some of those pushpin clips off, holding the bumper to the top end. All right, through here, we're basically just gonna lift up on this guy and set it aside. Same thing on both sides. Right, next, we can lift up on these push pins. We only have to do the ones on the black plastic, not on the color match paint underneath. All right, now in each of the corners by the headlights, there's one 10 millimeter nut. I'm gonna use my swivel socket, extension, and deep 10 socket to get that off. Same thing on the other side. Next up, we're in the wheel well here. Grab a panel removal tool and get these three push pins off. Next up, we have to peel back our wheel well liner. There's one 10 millimeter nut holding the bumper to the fender on each side. The stud is about here, halfway up between these two curves. Now, you're never gonna see this, but using a long extension, a swivel socket, and a 10 millimeter, you can go straight back and get it off. So once you get it loose, you can put your hand back there and remove the nut. There it is. Again, just sticking out right there. Do the same thing on the other side. Next up, we have the vehicle up in the air, but of course you can do this on the ground as well. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter socket to remove the seven screws all across the front end here. There are a couple Phillips heads as well. Some of ours have been replaced, so they're kind of mix and match. Get those off, then we have two tens in the back and a couple of panel clips, so let's get those off.
All right, grab a panel tool on each of the wheel wells. There's one push pin clip you want to pull off. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, now we can pull the belly pan down and set it aside. In the wheel well here, we have one more 10 millimeter holding on this mud flap section that's also holding our bumper in place. So grab your 10 socket and get that guy off. Set it aside. Next up, we can pop our bumper off. Disconnect it from the wheel well areas on each side. From there, you can lift and set it down. All right, next up with our bumper here, you wanna be careful and just lift up on your grill overlay and we're gonna set it in place. All right, you're gonna to have to hold this guy from the front while you take the Phillips head screws and the big flat washer plates and go in from the back to tighten it down to the pre-installed nuts. All right, from the back, we can see straight through the factory grill to the nuts installed on the tabs in the new grill overlay. You wanna put one of the bolts through, one of the Phillips head screws rather, through with that washer, line it up, and you're gonna tighten that guy down. All right, we can get it clipped on at first by hand, do the same thing on the bottom, and then tighten them down. All right, grab your Phillips head and tighten those guys down. All right, repeat on the other side. From here, once you know it's tight and secure, you can reinstall your bumper. All right, from here, lift your bumper back into place. All right, now we can focus on putting the nuts back in these corners above the headlights. Repeat that on the other side. Next, we can put the push pin clips back on the bumper connected to the frame. Next, we can pop our radiator shroud back on. Next, you wanna peel back the wheel well liner and put that nut back on that connects the bumper to the fender. Next, we can put this mud flap back on, which goes underneath just like that with the 10 millimeter. From here, you can put those black push pins back in. All right, repeat that whole process on the other side. Next up, we can put our belly pan back in place. You just wanna make sure it's seated properly on each side and then line it up to the holes. start by tightening down the two 10 millimeters at the back. 
Next we can do our seven millimeters. Lastly, pop those plastic clips back in, repeat on the other side, and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Modern Billet Phantom Mesh Upper Grill Overlay in black, available for the 08 to 14 Challenger. Get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.